Today we're talking about breaking content constipation, which is all about levering awareness days for fit pros and not about going to the toilets. If you want to break constipation in that sense, drink plenty of water. Uh, and anyway, we will move on from that. So yeah, this is all about if you are stuck, essentially, Andrew, for content ideas, um, a good way to get going is to use what we call awareness days. What exactly are uh, awareness days? Awareness days are, although I um, I, I bandy all uh, relevant dates in here, so um, people commonly are aware of Easter, Christmas, New Year, Thanksgiving, those types of dates. But outside of that, um, there's been a, a running trend that's increasing over the years where um, there's so many different awareness days like dress like your pet day, world Nutella day, um, which I thought was a particularly good one. <laughs> My son would love world Nutella day, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think that's a great one by Nutella to put it out because they, they put that date exactly a week before pancake day. So everyone gets their Nutella and then suddenly pancake day. Uh, which Pancake Day, Shrove Tuesday is another awareness day, I guess. So there's a whole heap, there's, there's literally, well, there's certainly hundreds of them about. Obviously not all of them um, are immediately relevant or you perhaps wouldn't even consider using. Um, but the way I've worked it for myself and with clients I've worked with over the past five years is that we look at, health and wellness um, dates primarily or initially so that we can be aware of what, when they come up. Um, and then we can start creating content around that if it's based around our target audience. But most recently, we've also been looking at um, other dates that resonate with us as people, you know, that we're interested in uh, because social media and I've fallen into this trap myself in that I'm a health and fitness professional. I must, I must always um, write or create content based around my expertise, which to a degree is correct, but equally with a, with a human being, with a person, we have other interests and with social media, somebody doesn't, is going to get pretty bored of just seeing the same con style of content going up all the time so if we can blend in some of these awareness dates uh, when we get that content constipation where we get stuck in what content are we going to come up with then awareness dates could be a great idea for you to look to implement when it comes to your uh, creation of content definitely as you say it's you know it's important that they are sort of ideally health and fitness related but also that if there's some that are personal to you and personal to your, if you know, you know your clients well, personal to your clients and those kind of awareness days would work well as well, wouldn't they? Because obviously I was looking at some and of course a big awareness day that's coming up in the UK is Mother's Day. So if you train uh, a lot of women who are uh, mothers, then that's a great, uh, great one to ge generate awareness, isn't it? Fantastic. Yeah. And, you know, that for me is one of the primary uh, marketing, I'll call it campaigns that I look to put in a 12 month calendar. Father's Day, obviously, um, in the UK in June. Um, so that would come into into the into the calendar as well. But for March, as you say, Mother's Day, perfect. You know, you could put out um, a piece then about how you love your mom and how maybe you got into the health and wellness because of the, the support you got from your parents, your mum, et cetera. But equally, then you can say, hey, why not? Um, here's an offer for, for mums. You know, um, you, 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 you focus on, on the kids, you focus on the family pet. Husband comes a little further down the line in, in the order of priorities, but mum is last in the priority list. So put yourself first and you can craft content around, you know, a mum's pamper package or, or something along those lines. But there's a whole heap. Once you've got this topic or this theme in, in your mind, it, it hopefully that cr gets the creative juices flowing i was gonna say you could potentially get very creative with with this as well because there's uh there's world book day coming up as well there could be some sort of book themed you know you go in fancy dress or so i don't know and do your workout that's a great one no i love it yeah and world book day is another great one that i've used uh, with clients in the past where uh they've 
and I'm not saying everybody with kids that you've got to think of how comfortable you are of bringing them into it these days. But um, you know, you could dress up as you say, like your your, your famous uh, you know characters from a famous book or whatever, um, or get your clients to come into a, a session uh, dressed up. You record it, and that's a great piece of um, of content that piggybacks. Great. Well, if you've got a boot camp or you know semi-private group session and every, you got everyone to dress up i think that'd uh that'd be a really good one that i've just i've just seen another one in the dates that you put in mate which i'm not sure how you'd make this work but i kind of if i was if i was doing this i'd kind of want to have a go awkward moments day I'm not sure how you'd make that one <laughs> <laughs> i was going through this i wondered if you'd pick up on that one because i was looking through there's as i say there's heaps of different dates and i picked ones which i felt which would be quite relevant I'm yeah. Um, Awkward moments day is on the 18th of March. We'll 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 make sure that we post these dates in in the in the note show notes so you've got these. But um, maybe maybe you do an awkward walk, or maybe you're talking about an awkward moment with a client or something, or or, or perhaps I don't know. Uh, but it's open to your interpretation. Yeah, that would be a fun marketing campaign to get going. That would, but. You know, it uh, it gets it gets the creative juices flowing, right? It does, and that's the key because at, at the end of the day, uh, it, this is my personal opinion. Social media is there to be interesting; it's to engage uh, with your audience. And if we're just talking about how many glasses of water you should drink a day, or you know how to how to squat effectively, or this is how how to perform a Turkish get up. Yes, that's great and relevant content, and absolutely should be part of your content creation. But we've got to blend it in with some you know more personable and some alternative areas of content, and this is where these awareness dates uh, can can play into that. Yeah. 100 percent. i feel like we could have a lot of fun with this so what we'll do as you say we'll post in the show notes we'll post some of these awareness days to help you get your ideas and get the creative juices flowing and you mentioned water there is actually world water day on the 22nd of march so we all know how important water is but maybe maybe we can make it slightly more interesting you know what i mean that's it that's it and uh, and on the health notes, there is some um, important health awareness dates coming up in March. There's no smoking day, World Sleep Day, and um, and as you say, the the World Water Day as well, mixed in with Waffle Day. <laughs> yeah, do a really hard workout and then all of a nap. That's uh... that's it. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Like I said, we will post these awareness days, and hopefully, it does help you uh, get out of that content constipation and get those creative juices flowing. Uh, that is it for today. Please don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe. And if you do want more help, uh, help getting more clients or patients, then book in your free fifteen-minute strategy call with us by going to strengthmatters.com forward slash strategy.